Okay, we're joined now by UC Riverside coach Mike Agpayo and student athletes Barrington Hargris and Isaiah Moses. We'll, we will start by asking coach for an opening statement and then open the floor to questions. We ask media to please raise your hand and identify yourself and your media outlet before asking your question. Coach, if you would, please start us off with your comments following today's game. Sure. You know, first, I just want to um, congratulate Bakersfield. Um, they are a tough opponent. Um, you know, we took a lot of pride in being one of the um, better teams in the Big West down the stretch. But Bakersfield, they had won three in a row before their last game. Um, so credit to Coach Barnes. Um, and what a player uh, Caleb Higgins is. Uh, he, he, he made it really tough on us. And um, just really proud of the guys that respond and show the resilience um, that now we are becoming accustomed to seeing from uh, UC Riverside basketball. Okay, we'll take questions from the floor. In front, yeah. Cancel to 88.3 KUCR Radio. Uh, coach, you guys were down by as much as 19. I'm pretty sure that was like the biggest story of this game. You got down by 19, came all the way back. Uh, you guys held a double-digit lead in the second half. Uh, what were you guys talking about in halftime or some adjustments you guys made, especially in the second half where um, you guys were just limiting uh, the offensive uh, flow for Cal State Bakersfield? You know what, they shot 73% from the field, and uh, we talked about that as a team. <laughs> that, that wasn't quite good enough. Um, we did make some adjustments, but it was really more a mentality of these guys to hear that these guys were shooting 73%. Um, and we did make a few adjustments, brought, put some more athleticism on the floor, but you could just see there was a different energy coming out of the second half from these guys and a different mentality. Um, and it was really focused on number one. We still didn't do it at 35 points, but just that energy and getting, I think we had, I mean, I couldn't, like 12 deflections in the first 10 minutes and you, you could just feel it and um, sense that we were starting to defend at a, at a high level. Chelsea Full, um, UC Riverside SID, uh, this is, you know, pretty much for any of you who would like to answer, um, how did you guys execute the game plan here? What what went as expected versus what didn't go as expected? Um, the game plan, you know, we just wanted to be the tougher team. You know, really show that we are we were down we were down a man, uh, Kyle Owens, and you know we wanted to come back and really show that we're still a good team and we still are gonna show that we have that grit and we are gonna grind this game out and. We knew that it wasn't going to be a tell of one half. We knew it was going to be a tell of two halves. So I'm just happy that we got, we stayed resilient and stayed playing hard. Yeah. Uh, Kia Nushi, uh, KUCR. Uh, you guys shot 34 free throws. How important is that to kind of being able to play that free throw game at the end? Because that last minute felt like it took like three hours at the end of the game. How important is making those free throws in, in uh, to you guys as a team? Um, getting to the line is definitely something we've focused on a lot more. Um, proving our two-point percentage has also been a big focus for us. So we made a lot of strides in that area. Um, I think we, you know, could have finished shooting free throws a little better tonight. Um, could have finished the game out a lot better, um, and that's something we'll clean up for sure. But just, just the the commitment to, you know, just every day, every single day, coming in and making that a focus uh, has definitely shown up for sure. Coach, postseason, of course, is all about moving on, right? And uh, the next step, uh, what do you guys take away from uh, this type of victory, right, where you're able to, to kind of grind it out and uh, in the second half play much better there in the second half? Uh, what do you what kind of kind of aspects do you take into the next matchup in the Big West tournament? You know, I told these guys, it's, it, you know, as in life, it, these tournaments are beautiful in that they could end at any moment, you know, and, and so once you accept that um, and kind of take it a moment at a time and play by play, um, and, w and we're fighting for a, a big, bigger purpose right now. You know, we, we, we want to make um, number zero, Kyle Owens, our senior captain and leader, proud. Um, you know, it's been a um, real emotional week, but these guys have been a, done a great job in being resilient. Um, and I think that serves us well in a tournament like this because in a, I, didn't, I didn't even look at the score in the first half. We were trying to survive. But to hear that we were down 19 and, and found a way to chip away at it and come back, I'm um, gonna we'll tell you the kind of team that we've turned into, and these two guards uh, did the job. They were all over the paint, penetrating, um, and I think that that makes us really hard to guard coming out um, tomorrow night. Um, Caleb Smith isn't up on the pudding with you guys, but I I've, I've been seeing like the later half of the season where Smith has just stepped up tremendously. Uh, goes for any of you guys. Um, how big of a player is Caleb Smith for you guys on this team? Uh, Caleb is huge. You know, like. The amount of the amount of shots that he hits and the 
timely shots that he hits, you know, it's huge and it's hard to it's hard to replicate. So someone at that size and like the way he plays and how fluid it is, it's very key to our offense. It's a big reason why we're so successful. And, you know, his ability to space the floor, rebound, it's like we we saw it we saw it at the beginning of the season, but now like these last couple of games he's really ramped it up and it's been huge for us and we're gonna keep on we're gonna keep on playing through him because he's got he's got something that's gonna give us a chance to go really deep. Coach, uh, Greg Kerr, KBAK TV in Bakersfield in the back here. Um, down 19, as they mentioned, did it feel like a win going into the locker room down by 11? And secondly, for the guards, if you could just address playing against Caleb Higgins, if you don't mind. Uh, yeah, definitely. You know, and, and, and we had a shot there to, to with eight tenths of a second to cut it even under 11, but it, it was uh, – Definitely felt like a win. You're absolutely right. Um, you know, we talk about chopping wood in this program all the time, and um, we chopped enough to get it down to 11 and, and absolutely um, gave us some juice going in the locker room. The guys had a lot of juice in the locker room. Um, and as for uh, Caleb Higgins, he's a, he's a special player. You know, um, we had a game plan, you know, to try to slow him down, which, uh, you know, 35 points, five assists. So he, he, he's a very special player. Um, he was hitting incredibly tough shots. Um, he just has a has a mojo about him, you know. He has he has that it factor, um, but really just the game plan, just trying to slow him down. Once once he got going, it was really just do what we can to slow him down and contain everybody else. And I think we just did a good job, just sticking together and just having our brothers back. Uh, for me, guarding Caleb Higgins is you know, as a freshman in this conference and seeing a senior like that play similar styles, similar heights, you know. I, I really like admire how he plays. I admire the heart that he plays with because, you know, small guards, small guards, we have to have a chip on our shoulder, and he's he's a big advocate of that. And I see it every time I played against him. So I that that dude's special, for real. Anything else? All right. Thanks so much. Congratulations.